Veggie Magnifique. Hello everyone, we are Veggie Magnifique. I'm Chloe. And I'm Anne. And today we are filming at the beautiful restaurant Saint Claret. It's one of the most healthy vegan and gluten-free restaurants in Paris. So you must try it out whenever you come visit. Or if you live in Paris. Or if you're a true Parisian. And we also do our cooking classes here. So check out saintclaret.fr to find out more about that. Today we're going to be making rainbow noodles with satay sauce. Yum! <laughs> So first we're going to cut our vegetables into aesthetically pleasing shapes. So we have an assortment of rainbow vegetables here today, hence our rainbow plate. And we're just going to start by cutting things in an aesthetic way, like so for example with the zucchini, courgette, <laughs> I have translation here. I'm going to cut them into, you know, long strips. And what we're going to do is we're going to arrange them beautifully on the plate. And if you want to like follow the whole like rainbow pattern, you can, right? Roy G. Biv. Roy G. Biv? What is that? No one knows what Roy G. Biv anymore. If you know what Roy G. Biv is, leave us a comment below. I'm in the dark here. We're gonna julienne the carrots. And I'm gonna cut the radishes into little roundy things. Radishes are perfect for making a dish look delectable and aesthetic. So now I'm cutting the yellow pepper. <laughs> so we're creating a little circle, a platter of rainbowness. And this is great because we're, we're creating a really fiber rich meal here with lots of lots of raw veggies. And so because we're just having them as crudities, we're maintaining all of the vitamins and minerals in those beautiful antioxidant rich, colorful veggies. Oh, nice tomato. Right? That looks like an heirloom. Trick with tomatoes is to have a sharp knife. So if you don't have the exact same vegetables that we have, use whatever you've got to create a plate of glorious color. You yeah. can use all sorts of different As long dishes. as it's colorful, it's going to be delicious. Exactly. And nutritious. And nutritious. So we have our noodles. And we've chosen gluten-free rainbow noodles to go with the theme. Yum. And so what you want to do is just swirl them in the middle there. Then what we're going to do is we're going to make a delicious sauce to put on top. And we're going to sprinkle it with some radishes and some herbs. So let's make the sauce. Mmm, satay sauce time. We start with olive oil. Yum, yum, yum. Lots of vitamin E and good fats in there. So next up we'll add some tamari. And tamari is of course the gluten-free soy sauce. Then we have rice vinegar, which is gonna give it a little lift. And a bit of ginger, this is fresh ginger. And a half a clove of garlic to give it some punch. Or more, oh, if you want. Yep. We usually add a little more, but we're kind of calming it down. Because, mm -hmm. you know, you might not be like us. Just in case. And <laughs> next up, we're gonna add some cayenne pepper, which is way essential for the yummy kick of the satay sauce. However, if you're not into, you know, spicy spice, you can omit, you can use some black pepper. Yeah, but cayenne's really good because it boosts your circulation and it boosts your metabolism too. Oh, sorry. This is rice syrup, brown rice syrup. So you can use brown rice syrup or maple syrup or agave, something a healthy sweetener here. Next up, we're gonna add in some peanut butter because what would a satay sauce be without peanut butter? We're totally gonna lick these containers later. Just saying. <laughs> this is actually really frustrating right now. This not is extremely <laughs> frustrating. It's like we're having to hold ourselves back. And our final ingredient is miso, and it's just gonna give it a nice depth and more of an Asian feel as well. So miso is a fermented soybean, which means that it's better for you than just random soy. It's uh, organic and of course fermented. And then we add a little bit of water just to get things moving. There we go. We start with a little touch of water, mix it a little bit, and if you feel like texture-wise it needs more, you just add more. So let's give it a shot. Give it a try. Let's see how that's smelling. Ooh. 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 Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you want to try it and Let's see if it needs anything else? We love trying things because you may need to adjust as you go. You might see our ingredients and think, oh, well, maybe I want oh, more kind. It's got a kick. <laughs> For sure. Ooh. 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 <laughs> Gingery. 
Mm -mm. That's actually a really good cayenne. Got from um, this woman who comes from. Oh right, it was legit cayenne. It was legit cayenne. <laughs> She's a. It shows. Yeah. <laughs> She's from Ile de la Réunion. Mm. Now we're going to compose the platter. So what we're going to do first is add our sauce all over those yummy veggies and delightful noodles. And then we're going to decorate, right? So decorating being very important. And we're gonna just like sprinkle the delightful radishes on top. It's looking gorgeous. So you can use parsley or you can use cilantro as you wish. Coriander for uh -huh. the Brits. <laughs> And it just adds a beautiful touch, as well yeah. as some herby goodness. So there you have it. Rainbow satay noodles. Mm. Let us know what you thought of this recipe in the comments below. And give this video a thumbs up if you want more recipes from us at saint Clorin. Hope to see you next time and bon appétit. Bon appétit. Ciao. Yeah. It smells so Asian.